Welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 2022. Uh, say that three times fast. Uh, we're going to be discussing the pros and the cons of this game. Uh, I know this game has been out for over a month. Um, in this particular gameplay, I am playing Shoot House. Uh, I've basically been grinding Shoot House. Uh, ever since it came out, uh, because it's a really good map, it's very small, um, it will help you get your levels and, and also some of the challenges so that you can get the next, uh, camo. Um, so let's talk about the maps. Let's talk about the maps first. Um, the maps, there's only nine in total, I believe, um, including Shoe House. Um, Mercado, uh, the Embassy, the Hydroelectric Boogaloo, um, the, uh, Farm, Farm 18 is my favorite map on this game, um, and the, I wanna say, what's, I don't know the name of the map with the statue in the middle, it's like a huge statue in the middle, uh, that one is another good map, however, there are, here's the first con, you guys. Here's the first con, and we're gonna get to it. Tarak. Tarak is probably the worst map that I have ever experienced. And I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. And that map is like a bad date. That map is like a bad experience. Like, you know, you, you, you've been set up on a blind date, and you show up, and it's Tarak. And you're like, oh man, I gotta sit through this, or I'm just, or I'm gonna leave. Like, you know, it, Tarak is like uh, the, Tarak is the ride home from the club. Like, you're just drunk or something. Like, Tarak is abysmal. Um, Santa Maria Border Crossing. Santa Maria Border Crossing is another one that they just probably, you know, put on the game, and they were just like, eh, let's see how this goes. It didn't go anywhere because that map is another one that is a business tragic um let me talk about something i do like uh i like the guns the guns are very very fluid it's very smooth uh i like when i shoot people how it feels like i i love that um in regards to the gunsmith you know i've heard people some people say some you know, negative things about the gunsmith in regards to the attachments basically hindering the gun. I mean, I have not experienced that um, ha because of weapon tuning. Uh, weapon tuning will allow you to fix some of those issues, although you don't get hard numbers in regards to what you're doing uh, to the gun. But um, if you actually use the gun in the field, um, you kind of get a better synopsis of what you're doing. Like, you know, um, like I said, in this particular gameplay, I think I'm using the Cast Off 762, uh, which is the AK. You know, it's, it's the AK. Uh, I just have a sight on it. Um, you know, it's, it, it's very, it feels very good to me. You know, it feels very good to my play style. It feels very good to me, uh, when... I run up and shoot people, as you can see, I'm running up on a hard point here, and I'm trying to get, you know, these people off of the hard point, and I, it feels good to, try to do that. Um, some of the weapons are overpowered, but I think, uh, with the last update, they did, uh, some weapon balancing, um, and, you know, it's, uh, it feels, it feels very even, it feels very even. Some, sometimes you shoot somebody, and you're like, what? I just shot that like in that particular area. I know I shot the guy, but he just didn't die. He must have different Kevlar. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I like the way the guns feel. I like the way they shoot. Yeah, I I really like that. Um, the game mode. Some of the game modes I do like. Um, I like third person. Uh, third person is really really a cool addition to the game. Um, as well as DMZ. Um, DMZ is, you know, for a beta. Um, it's really cool. It's really a cool. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments uh, about DMZ and Warzone and your experiences 
you know, also with that. Um, so, let me know what you guys think, because, uh, you know, I like DMZ. Um, I like it. I think it's fun. Um, something I don't like is the skill-based matchmaking. Um, I, I won't, I can't play with anybody else other than me, uh, because of my skill level. Now, um, I'm in a, I, I want to say mid to above level skill player. Uh, so, what happens is, if somebody, uh, that I want to play with who, you know, is a friend, is not on the same skill level as me, they're not going to have a good time. You know, because they're going to be facing opponents in the same skill bracket as me. And, you know, that's, that's, it's not, that's not fun for someone who just wants to p play casually, uh, not, comp not competitively, you know, so, um, that definitely is, um, an issue, um, skill-based matchmaking. Um, I don't know if, uh, Greenberg Hotel will be in the season two, uh, because Activision is in a legal situation with the owners of that hotel, and, um, you know, they don't want anything to do with Call of Duty, uh, because of the violence, and, you know, they think it's an extremely violent video game, and they just don't want anything to do with it. Um, rightfully so. Uh, Call of Duty is very, very violent, so, you know, uh, yeah, you know, Greenberg Hotel may not be in season two, unfortunately, and, and I like that match as well. Um, all in all, I want to say that I like this game. Uh, with, with all the things, you know, there are some things that they can fix. Um, there are some things they can improve on, and there are some things that they need to stay the same. Uh, the gunsmiths need to be improved upon. The, uh, maps need to be, some of the maps need to be improved upon. Why don't you guys just give us the maps from old, you know, high rise, overgrown, rust, you know, give us those maps, you know, and don't bring copyright, you know. Um, all in all, but all in all, I lo I like this game. I like this game. I play this game every day. Um, I'm grinding Shoot House, and when shipment comes out, I'll be grinding that as well. Thank you guys for your time. I know this is a longer video than I usually record, but I wanted to give you an in-depth, you know, thought process of what I felt about the game. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I love you guys, and until then, until I see you guys again, stay frosty.